Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, December 4, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online um, trading. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have fallen yet again today. We fall, fell all the way down to 1990, sorry, uh, 43 is basically the very lows here. And at this stage, you should expect a pullback towards the 20 exponential. So um, it was expected to fall more uh, further we will run into major support. Um, we have a support level over here at roughly um, roughly this area here. And uh, at this stage, we will most likely pull back. And the reason why I say that is because the RSI is at 26 at this point. So we are significantly oversold in the, the US dollar index. And... Um, this um, CCI is also showing signs of, of this market being way overstretched at this point. So I'll pull back towards the 20, roughly uh, 91 point uh, or 92, 91.80, uh, something like that. That is expected for, uh, for Friday, Monday, Tuesday session next week. And of course, that will have quite a negative effect on commodities like oil, precious metals, and also the indices. And this would basically, it is expected for the indices to fall within the next few days. And the US dollar index could be basically what basically triggers that pullback. So there's a negative relation between those, the, the, those indices and commodities. And therefore, you should pay attention to what basically happens here. This is overstretched it will not fall significantly further before turning around and then probably fall even further. So we'll start by looking at oil here. So as you can see, we have rallied yet again today. We came all the way up to $45.82 and then we basically stopped. At this point, we are almost overbought. Uh, these technical units are still showing basic signs of weakness at this stage. If we get a rally in the US dollar index, then we'll fall back towards uh, probably these previous highs here at the 43.8 uh, before going higher. But uh, pay attention to what happens to the US dollar index. I think this is a market that is too risky to enter at this stage. Of course, if we take out the very high here, then we're heading to 70, 50, and probably all the way to 50. Um, that is po uh, possible, but I'd rather wait until we get to the 50 and then start shorting this, because there's no reason for us to basically be in this uh, price level at this stage. Um, this is purely speculation. Most of this um, coronavirus vaccine was the reason why we had this rally and also this rally and now we are basically um, focused on the OPEC meeting and so on so at this point I would wait if we have if we break towards these very lows here that's a buying opportunity for up to 47.5 or 50 and if we ride to 50 or uh, 47.5 then that is a basically selling opportunity so I would basically just wait technically to see what happens here in the oil market. So let's look at natural gas. And natural gas just fell off a cliff today, but this was also expected. Uh, yesterday, I said that we were going to do a lower low here in this, um, in this market. For example, we had the first one here, second one, and then the third one here. And at this point, um, we may well be at the very bottom of this market before we turn around. But these technical indicators are extremely bearish at this at this point. We are at the 33 in the RSI, and we are not oversold yet. So we could go a little bit lower, 
but I would not expect that to happen without a pullback. Uh, we need these indicators to turn around, probably look uh, for signs in the one to four hour chart in order to see where we basically rally from here. Uh, but in order to enter this market, you have to, it has to show signs of massive support here in order for it to turn around. It could also just turn around towards the 20, around um, 2.65 or something like that and then head towards that 20, uh, 20, 200 moving average all the way down to 2.2. So that is possible, but this was completely expected. Um, and we'll just see what basically happens in the market. It is still too risky to enter. It can rally to upside, it can break to the downside, and therefore uh, there's no reason to basically pay attention to this at this current stage. So let's look at gold. So gold has rallied up towards the 20 exponential moving average. And as I expected, we have not pierced the 20 exponential moving average. Uh, we may trade in between the 20 and the 200 for the foreseeable future. Um, that is plausible. We are at 1839 uh, and uh, the lows here are at 1800. So this could be a very... Um, this could be a range that we could stay in uh, for quite a long time. If we have, for example, uh, appreciation in the US dollar index, then we'll fall back towards the 1800 level. Um, so at this stage, well, you could enter, uh, enter the market if we fall back toward 1800 and that it shows to be supportive. Uh, but I'm still very at this market. Um, this is not how I expected things to turn out. I expected a fall towards the 1800 and then just explode towards the upside. That is not what we're seeing. We're seeing just a gradual grind towards the uh, 20, uh, 20 moving average. And it looks like we're running into exhaustion here. Technical years here are still bullish. They are, but not as bullish as I expected them to be. Um, so we'll see basically what happens. Um, I would be a buyer if it falls back to 1800 uh, with a stop loss underneath the here, just, to, you know, just in case if we didn't fall further. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.